when you're setting up your pricing and you want to do a lineal square cubic foot uh, pricing method, the way you're going to do that is by first making a copy of the KCW pricing, and we called it OPE, as we've been doing in the uh, examples uh, prior. And you just select it, click Edit. And now, when we want to go set that up, we go to General, General Setup. And there's a place here to where you can tell it, do you price by material and labor or by the foot cost? When you click this number two, you're saying you're, you're setting it up either by lineal, square, or cubic foot. Now, you get to choose which method you're using for which type of cabinet further in the list. For example, if we go to cabinets and cabinet setup, you'll notice here that it says cabinet price method by the lineal, square, or cubic. It says square here. All right. Now, when I have it set for square here, under cabinets and base cabinets, you'll see that there's a place here where you can actually have it use the standard cost method. Well, that would be using whatever we had, come back to cabinet setup, set here. But, Let's say for argument's sake, you want to do a square footage cost, or, or better yet, a lineal foot charge for your standard base cabinets. But on your wall cabinets, you want to charge a square foot charge. So we could come in here, and we just set it to square foot. So these cabinets will take the width and height of the cabinet times this dollar amount. Whereas if we went to base cabinets, it's using the standard price method, which is set for lineal foot. We could also set it, we could have done this also, just set it to lineal. It really doesn't matter which one. And that's only a lineal foot cost. Now, why might you do something like that? Well, some people will say that their wall cabinets, the height is all over the place, and the base cabinets are pretty standard. You know, we do factor in down here your vanity cabinets, things of that nature. So when it comes to height, it really isn't uh, a big factor. Whereas maybe on your wall cabinets, when you're pricing it, you really want to factor that height in. Now, once again, if you really are worried about the width, height, and depth of the cabinet, because that depth of the cabinet changes all over the place for a wall cabinet, for example, well, you can use cubic foot. That will factor the width, height, and depth. Now, what you're going to find under cabinets is, you know, tall cabinets. Well, once again, set those up however you want. This is set for lineal. Well, we can set it for square foot. doesn't really matter. But we break it down enough to where you should be able to come up with a pretty pretty good price method that works really well. And as I've told you before, you're going to find that the doors, the knobs, the handles, the molding, everything else is managed somewhere else and priced somewhere else. So these prices are just cabinet costs. 